Joe Wilcox here behind the uh, camera talking to uh, Simone, the genius behind Doki Doki. Yeah, it's genius. <laughs> I just want to ask a couple questions. You know, where did the inspiration come uh, for uh, you know these characters? Well, like basically, like I'm very inspired by Japan and uh, all the Japanese street iconography. But uh, when I generally say it's just uh, it's how my mind is trained to look for ideas everywhere I go. So like I started when I was in Italy, I was studying Japan and Japanese, and uh, I got so much inspired by Japan. But then moving to the States, I was very much influenced by you know all this urban and streetwear iconography, obviously like LA. So there's diamonds, guns, bling, graffiti, and uh, you know like being far from Italy or when I go back to Italy I look inspiration and there so comes all the best pass the pizzas and all that kind of thing. So I basically consider my artwork is just my daily diary, you know, I just walk around, look for inspiration really everywhere. And I always take an as example like uh, my whole of my, my more successful character or series of characters is the Cactus Friends. And uh, you know, like that idea can just be in a very hot and desertic lazy afternoon in South Italy. I saw some cactuses when I was even just chilling, but in that moment my mind was thinking and uh, watching the cactuses just looked like bunnies to me and from there like came out of this character. So. And how long have you been doing these? I, I, I uh, discovered your stuff five years ago. I have a daughter and wife and they love your stuff. So. Oh, thank you. But uh, how long have you been doing it? Uh, uh, like I, I draw like since I'm, uh, you know, I already had in kindergarten on my drawings and characters around so professionally I would say about the 10 12 years I started doing websites and uh, uh, free freelance uh, no free, <laughs> freelance uh, uh, graphic design websites mobile content stuff for any kind of company from banks to MPE and then uh, like the brand like I moved to the States about uh, five years and a half ago and uh, we launched the brand uh, hit the market about four years ago so it was pretty intense years. I know you're busy, I just want to ask one more question. Yeah, sure. Where does the name come from, Tokidoki? Uh, Tokidoki comes from uh, sometimes, it's uh, in Japanese, means, means sometimes in Japanese. And uh, the idea came uh, from the fact that I was doing my first website as a young designer and I needed uh, like my, you know, like my door to the rest of the world and I thought that uh, like a word like sometimes is just like a, a positive word that uh, there is lots of hope. Like I will put this website online and uh, Sometimes things happen, and uh, maybe some will be that moment. Someone will see uh, my artwork online and will change my destiny. And uh, so it was like this, little by little, through the website. I got like my uh, freelances, my works, and uh, I, I, I met um, so much people through my website. And uh, at the end, I ended up here in the states and kept on growing. And uh, I'm realizing lots of dreams. <laughs> That's wonderful. So thank you very much for everybody thank watching. You very much, we're uh, we're live from uh, Comic Con. That's why we've got so much background noise here. Thank you. Okay, thank you.